just a farmhouse and looks pretty innocent from the road. But once you're inside, you'll see what really happens on a terror farm. Invasion of the Blood Farmers. Coming in the dead of night, coming to plant the living and harvest the dead. Invasion of the Blood Farmers. Within a week, the lab will be flooded with... With human blood. Ah, don't stop it! <laughs> You strong enough. More raw terror, more stomach-turning shock than you can take. Therefore, we warn you, don't eat before you see invasion of the blood farmers, and you'll have nothing to lose. Plant the living and harvest the dead. Invasion of the Blood Farmers, released by NMD Films, in color, rated PG, parental guidance suggested. And welcome to Mondo Bizarro, your weekly dose of weird and wacky educational films from way back. I'm your lovely hostess, Amber Glossine. This week, we're digging deep into the vaults of medical arts productions with As Boys Grow. The story of a creepy coach who enjoys talking about puberty way too much with his prepubescent students. Actor Joseph Mixack, who plays Coach Douglas, was a pioneer in the Troy McClure School of Acting. The film also features sexually confused students played by the Boys Club of San Francisco. And now, without further ado, we present George Watson's Ode to Erections. From 1957, here is As Boys Grow on Mondo Bizarro. kids really poured it on. Hi, I'm Gene Douglas, and that's part of my freshman track team. The boys are really working very hard. Say, maybe you'd like to meet some of them. Well, there's Bill. He's going out for the high jump. And Jim, the broad jump and sprints, too. Mike is number one boy at the shot put right now. He's a pretty good distance runner, too. But Ben's clocked the best time for the 440 so far. Pole vault is George's specialty, but he's giving the high jump a good try, too. And Pete, well, he's trying most everything right now. They make a pretty fair team. Anyway, they're sure trying hard enough. Hey, Coach. Yeah? I twisted my ankle. Oh, is it bad? I don't think so. Well, see me inside, will you? Okay. Okay. That's it for today. Everybody inside. Come on! Here. Let's take a look. How'd you do it? I was taking a jump and I landed sideways in. Yeah, I can see. Well, I'll put an elastic bandage around it. I'll take a look at it and see how it is tomorrow. Okay? Why does this always have to happen to me? Some guys never get hurt. Oh, you're just having a little bad luck. Yeah, but why me? Look 
sick Mike. He never gets hurt. Well, he's built a little different from you, Pete. He's developed earlier. Yeah, but why? He's not any older than I am. It's not just how old you are. Kids develop at different times. Hey, Coach, is Mickey Mouse here going to live? Mickey Mouse? Listen, you people. All right. Take it easy. You better get your clothes on. Okay. That mic. He's sure filling out. And it won't be long before Pete starts putting on some weight, too. In fact, all these kids are starting to develop now. They're all around 14, 15 years old. And there'll be a lot of changes taking place. Say, did you do your homework? What homework? You know, your math. Oh, that? Sure. But I couldn't get the last one. Oh, great. That's the one I was wondering about. Say, what happened to your face? Oh, this? Cut myself shaving. Yeah. Maybe I'll start shaving soon. Come on, we better get a move on or we'll be late for class. Yes, shaving is part of it. And there were still other changes. Some of these things most kids knew about, while others didn't. Hey, you know something? No, what? I had a wet dream last night. Wet dream? What's that? Oh, you know, some sperm comes out of your penis. Sperm? Yeah, sort of a sticky stuff. Guy's part of a baby. Didn't your brother ever tell you about that? No. He never says much about anything. So that means you can start a baby. It was something new to Bill, this business of nocturnal emissions, just as a lot of other things were new. Growing up is a time of change. Everything seems to happen at once. Uh-uh, the coach at its glands. Well, you get those from your parents. Hey, what is this? You all taking the afternoon off? Hey, coach, didn't you say it was glands that made guys different? Yeah, that's right. Well, today in biology class, Mr. Davis said we're all different because of our parents. That's right. I meant the way your body develops at puberty. Puberty? Who's that? Well, that'd take a little explaining. Maybe later, huh? Yeah, but when? Well, how about after practice this afternoon? Sure, great. Okay, but we've got work to do now. Come on, let's yeah, get out there. Go. Come on, fellas. So that afternoon in the locker room, I started answering some of the boys' questions. Hey, you having a meeting? No, just talking. Sit down if you want to. Let's see, where was I? Oh, yes. Well, each of us is different from the day we're born. No two people are exactly alike. Some of those differences are inherited from our parents. See? I said so. Then at puberty, certain glands begin to work, and our bodies begin to change. But where are these glands? Yeah. And what's puberty? Well, puberty? Well, puberty's a lot of things. Mainly, though, it's a time of change. For you, it means your bodies are changing from boys to men. You mean like having to shave? Say, when's a guy start shaving anyway? Oh, there isn't any special age. You're all going to start at different times. That's because everybody matures according to his own body's rules. In general, everybody grows broader in the shoulders, the ribs, and the pelvis. Your arm and leg bones grow longer, and so does your back, from the neck to the buttocks. But everybody doesn't develop at the same time. Or in the same way. Jim, for instance, is uh, bigger all over than you, Pete. But that just means he started filling out earlier. You'll catch up. George now is growing tall instead of filling out. Mike is more like Jim. Ben will be tall, probably, and big all over. Well, everybody is just naturally a little different. Yeah, but where do these glands come in? Well, it's the sex glands, or testes, that actually get these changes going. Here. Maybe a diagram will help. Here's the penis. And the scrotum that holds the testicles, or testes, inside. Now, when you're around 14, maybe sooner, maybe later, the testes start making a chemical substance called a hormone. It's this hormone that causes the changes. 
it enlarges the penis itself and starts hair growing here and under your arms and on your face. It even affects your voice, makes it deeper. It also makes it grow thicker or taller or both. That hormone, is that what you call sperm? No, sperm is something else. Sperm is made in the testes, too. Do you all know what sperm is? Yeah, it's the guy's part of the baby, isn't it? That's right. But how does it get out from the testicles? Through tubes, here. There's one from each testicle. Goes up, down again, through a storage place, and out into the penis. Now, when the penis erects, gets hard, the sperm can come out in what's called an ejaculation. Not every time, though. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, sometimes the penis gets hard without, well... Uh... Oh, without an ejaculation of sperm? Oh, yes, that's right. You see, all an erection is is an increase in blood in the penis, which is made up mostly of sponges. Now, when something excites us sexually, this tissue fills up with blood, and the whole organ is extended or hard. Uh, erect. Sometimes that just happens by itself, doesn't it? You know, like in the morning. Oh, yes. You don't have to be thinking about sex to have an erection. Pressure from a full bladder can cause it, or rhythmic movements of the body, uh, horseback riding, say. Yes, George? Does an erection, well, does that mean you have too much sperm and you ought to get rid of it? Get rid of it? No. But sometimes your body will do that by itself, at night. It's called a nocturnal emission, or wet dream. Then you can cause an ejaculation by yourself, too, by masturbating, rubbing the penis. Sometimes you hear that masturbation affects your mind or your manhood. It isn't true. For kids your age, it's just something normal. Does that? Well, I was told it had something to do with pimples and stuff. Is that right? No. No, you see, when you reach puberty and all these changes start taking place, there are a lot of glands involved. Not just the sex glands. For instance, there's one in the back of the brain called the pituitary. And then there are the thyroid glands here in the neck. Now, some things about these glands are still a mystery. But we do know that a hormone from one can affect the others. And in a lot of people your age, this may partly cause skin trouble. Well, what can you do about it? Oh, if it really bothers you, you should see a doctor. He'll tell you what to do. It can be cleared up pretty well these days. Hey, it's about time. Hey, could we go on with this tomorrow? Yeah, how about it? Sure, okay. Come on down early, huh? Wow, that was educational. So, boys, what have we learned so far besides the fact that Coach Douglas must have also got a degree from the University of Nambla? That sperm is the guy's part of a baby. That the four-knuckle shuffle won't make you crazy. And that horseback riding can release sperm. Well, let's just hope you use a saddle when that happens. Now we're going to have a quick intermission. For those of you who are going to the bathroom, remember that if you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. We'll be right back. This is a dill pickle, a mighty pretty pickle, especially when he joins you at the show. We have lots of pretty pickles waiting for you at the refreshment center. They're plump, tender, mouth-watering. Wouldn't one taste good right now? Guess what? Guess what would taste good right now to everyone in the car? Candy. We've got your favorite kind at the concession stand. Come on down and pick out the kinds you want to enjoy during the rest of the show. Be sure to get plenty because everyone likes candy and our big variety is chosen to please everybody's taste.
Bravo! Take the girl to my quarters. Unexplored secret stratus. This giant, harder than steel piston, disgorges strange creatures, inundating our world, twisting the emotions of women, distorting our men. It's an adventure that'll burst your blood vessels with suspense. See the brain eaters. Crisp, flavorful fish sandwiches, golden brown and crunchy outside, and tender and juicy inside for a snack or a meal. What's to eat? What's to drink? Good food galore. Quick as a wink. Ice cream bars. It's the handy way to enjoy smooth, rich, creamy ice cream. Get some. Pizza! Pizza! Pizza, pizza, pizza! Everybody loves pizza, and we're now featuring the famous original Tolona pizza. Only the finest and purest ingredients go into the original Tolona pizza, made fresh to your order. And into the oven it goes. Presto, a luscious, hot, crispy pizza. We're now featuring... Hey, wait a minute! Give me another pizza. <laughs> That's better. Now, as I was saying, we now have delicious, crispy Tolona pizza at the refreshment stand. What do you have? Cheese, sausage, or pepperoni? Take it away! All right, and we're back. The second half of our feature is all about the dreaded period and reproduction. And who can be a better teacher than our very own Coach Douglas? Let's just hope that he brought some of his charts. And now, for the conclusion of As Boys Grow, here on Mondo Bizarro. Oh yes, there were still plenty of questions. And as usual, some guys thought they knew all the answers. And so the dope pushes her into the water. Boy, did she get mad. Maybe she is having her period or something. Oh, that doesn't make any difference. My sister goes swimming when she's having her period. Period? What's that? Yeah, no, menstrual period. Don't you know what that is? No. Say, somebody ought to give you guys the word. Okay, wise guy, what is it? Hey, what's going on here? Well, these goofballs have never heard of a menstrual period, and I was trying to tell them. And he didn't know what he was talking about either. Yeah. yeah. Okay, simmer down. Have a seat. I brought some charts. Maybe this will help. The female reproductive system and fertilization. Hey, look. <laughs> Polywog. Now, wait a minute. These are sperm cells. But let's start from the beginning. Menstruation is just one part of a whole series of things that take place in the female sex system. It's arranged something like this. The vagina that opens out between the legs, the uterus, her womb, a pair of tubes, and two sex glands or ovaries. 
Now about once every month, these glands produce an egg cell, or ovum, which passes along one of these tubes to the uterus. An egg? You mean like a chicken egg? No, not exactly. It's very small. You'd need a microscope to get a really good look at it. It's like a chicken egg in one way, though. If it's fertilized by a male sperm cell, it'll grow into a baby. Here in the uterus. First, the uterus grows a lining, which would take and feed the egg if it were fertilized. But when it's not fertilized, it disintegrates. And it and the lining and some blood pass out through the vagina. And this is called menstruation. Yes, Pete? When does the girl start having these periods? When she reaches puberty, around 13. That means she can have a baby then? Yes, that's right. Just like you can become fathers as soon as your testes start making sperm. Here. This is what happens when the egg is fertilized. The sperm meets the egg in this tube. Then the fertilized egg becomes attached to the uterus wall. And the cells multiply and grow into a baby. Yeah, but how's it get there? You know, not just the sperm and egg stuff. I mean, well, what really happens? Oh, what you want to know about is sexual intercourse. Well, that happens like this. Here. Here's a cross-section of the vagina. The erect penis enters here. And rhythmic movements, a pumping back and forth, causes an ejaculation from the penis. Some of the sperm swim up here through the uterus, and on into the tube, where they may or may not meet an egg cell. If one does, then the egg is fertilized and settles down here in the uterus and grows into a baby. About nine months later, the baby is born through the vagina. This is how we all came into the world. Yeah, but babies and all that, that's not all you go out with girls for, is it? No, you're right. Going out with girls is fun. When you get older, you probably want to get married and start a family. Say, when should a guy start going around with girls? Oh, there's, uh, there's no real answer to that. Whenever you feel like it, I guess. Maybe the first time you'll want to ask someone to a party or a dance. Maybe you'll need a partner. But there's no special age. Just like there isn't any special reason for taking a girl out. Most guys just like female company. Well, that's it for today, fellas. Let's get out to practice, eh? The fellas were pretty busy all spring, working out for the team and with their schoolwork. But they had time for other things, too. Say, how would you and Barbara like to go swimming tomorrow? We'd love to. Jim and I thought we'd go over the lagoon. Hey, that'd be swell. Hey, why don't we all bring something to eat? We could stay all day. Okay, I'll make something. Hey, great. How about a big old chocolate cake? Oh, I don't know. We can try. Well, anyway, we'll start about nine, okay? Well, Bye. 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 feature, As Boys Grow, George Watson's Ode to Erections. As comical as this feature may seem, it dealt with the subject of puberty in an open and honest manner. Many similar films of the time made crazy claims that you would grow hair on your palms, go blind, or burn in hell if you masturbated. Thanks for clearing that up, Coach Douglas. So, that's the end of our show tonight. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with more enticing educational films from the Mondo Bizarro Vault. We leave you now with something to help out with those nocturnal emissions. Good night.
You know, menstrual period. Say, somebody ought to give you guys the word.